Hey guys, Blood Moon Bobby here, and this week I decided to return to using um, audio mainly because I think it'd be more interesting if you saw what I'm talking about if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're checking me out on SoundCloud, well, you know, I guess it doesn't really make a difference, but for this week, um, and I think going forward, I'm going to stick to being audio only except for trailer reactions since I've liked this format and like I said if you're watching me on YouTube you get to see the image of what I'm talking about and unfortunately today is a pretty sad topic now let me preface this by saying you may have heard about the hashtag me too campaign it's basically where women in Hollywood have been um or I should say sexual assault victims have been coming out on Twitter like they've been and yeah, um, as, yeah, so they've been coming out on Twitter using that supportive hashtag. Me personally, I know some people are going to say, oh, it's just an opportunity for women to get back at their male CEOs and suits. But, te but technically speaking, I'm supportive of hashtag me too. I think it's a, it's an opportunity for women to come out. I know coming out and saying that you've been ab sexually abused is a very, very difficult thing. I totally understand that. So I am glad to see, um, this movement going on Twitter to give, um, these people confidence if you know this bunch of people are totally comfortable with coming out they can too so that's what i wanted to give um that's my little sum up of hashtag me too so what does hashtag me too have to do with the loud house um in case you haven't heard um which is hard to believe because this is one of the big stories going around the cartoon news world and that is the Loud House creator, and this is really shocking to me, Chris Savino, has been accused of sexual harassment. Um, so he's been accused of, of um, harassing about a dozen or so women, and he's even been accused of threatening to blacklist female colleagues that are no longer in consensual relationships with him. In fact, one of the um, women that came out was Anne Walker Farrell, a director on the Netflix animated series BoJack Horseman. And she tweeted her support for Savino's suspension and was the first to go public with her allegations. And these allegations go back. Like, in the case of Farrell, oh, Savino had sexually harassed her 15 years ago. And, of course, she used the hashtag MeToo when she came out on Twitter. Um... Nickelodeon gave a statement to The Hollywood Reporter saying, and I quote, Chris Savino is no longer working with Nickelodeon. We take allegations of misconduct very seriously and we are committed to fostering a safe and professional workplace environment, environment that is free of harassment or other kinds of inappropriate conduct. So if you guys have been wondering why... It's taking me a while to jump on the story. Well, part of it is because I can only work on episodes during the weekends. But it's also because I first heard about this story on Cartoon Brew, which I think is a reliable source, but I've heard um, some on Twitter say they aren't. And while I still trust Cartoon Brew, I want to see more established sources um, release news sources stories on Chris Savino and to be fair the more sources that come out to support something the better so that's why I started seeing Variety and then and of course the Hollywood Reporter which is a more credible source so what do I personally think well if you heard my um intro at the beginning of me saying I support the hashtag me too campaign that should give you an idea on my position of this in the case of Chris Savino, um, like I said, anytime, you know, a story like this comes out, it's always really shocking. And unfortunately, um, in the case of sexual assault, I mean, the scary, for me, the scary part about it is it's not always the strange looking guy tugging at his crotch, you know, who is you know, incredibly sex obsessed in public because... You know, there are people out there that can be real, like, snakes in the grass about things like this. You know, people that just can't control their urges and which leads many of them to be 
incredibly aggressive and just nasty pieces of shit. I mean, if you look at, like, for instance, if you look at something like the Jared Vogel situation, although in that case it was child pornography, you know, he pleaded guilty to, to, um, to filming and possessing child pornography. You would never, like, you know... I just can't word it in another way. You can't, you would just, you wouldn't just look at this guy and think, oh, 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 predator, predator, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, you know. So it's not too far-fetched to believe that, you know, Chris Savino, in his case, you know, sexually harassed this um, dozen amount of people, you know. I mean, things like this just, you know, kind of remind us that in actuality, these you know, people that work in the industry have their private lives, you know, and the people that we see, even if it's somebody we like, um, it's their, whenever we see them on like YouTube or panels or, you know, things like that, it's always their PR side. They always have to put their best foot forward, you know, it just, I mean, things like this just, you know, kind of make me lose faith in some I shouldn't say people but it's more humanity you know it's kind of that reminder that how much or it just makes you question how you know how much do we know about these people not saying everybody that works in Hollywood or in animation is you know going to sexually harass or you know rape somebody but it's just a real eye-opener I mean do we know for, like, a concrete fact that Chris Savino is legitimately guilty? In all honesty, we probably won't know the actual truth. But I am speaking from the perspective that, you know, if it is true, it shouldn't... It's not, you know, for me, it doesn't come off as super shocking. In the case of Savino, it's like he created this innocent cartoon. You would never expect him to do that. But it's like, how many times have we heard of a case where a nice, you know, seemingly nice person is, you know, a really big monster, you know? But, um, just, yeah. As for the Loud House themselves... It's, I think it's fair to assume Nickelodeon is going to go down the route of Clarence when its creator, um, Clarence on Cartoon Network, its creator Skylar Page was accused of sexual harassment where he got fired but the show kept going. Um, so it's fair to, especially because like Clarence was, I think it was just okay ratings wise. The Loud House is Nickelodeon's second, you know, most popular show so you know, obviously, they're going to want to keep supporting it. And look, when Nickelodeon does this kind of thing, and, like, this is a kind of thing with any corporation, when they come out with their um own, with their franchises, yes, you know, there's a creator behind that, but once, you know, the company releases it, it becomes their property. You know, that's why when you look at something like Konami, they're, able, they're still able to make Metal Gear games because, you know, Kojima, Hideo Kojima doesn't, um, own the Metal Gear property himself. That's, you know, up to Konami. So when Nickelodeon, you know, because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep me on marching. They even said that they're coming out with a third season of The Loud House in 2018. It's just them basically, you know, you know, they're marching on with their own property. Because, you know, and now especially, it, The Loud House is their show. It's not in the hands of Savino anymore. He was... um immediately suspended when they got word of his um harassment as i just said in that hollywood reporter statement that he is no longer working with nickelodeon so yeah um i'm not even sure what else to um say i mean if savino is truly guilty and i even had like a nickelodeon animator when i posted me saying that um, Savino deserves this if he really is guilty. A Nickelodeon animator liked um, my tweet. So if he truly is guilty, I'm glad that, you know, he got fired. And I think he should be blacklisted. If nothing else, the next thing I want to see is a court case. Because, it's, you know, when, when you send, you know, guys like these to court. And especially if they plead guilty, that's kind of, you know, a really big sign that they're admitting to um, what they did. So, yeah. So, that's basically um, all I have to say. Um, just, 
I mean, the most visceral thing I could say about this is how shocked I am. Because on one hand, as I keep saying, like, I'm shocked in the case of, you know, Chris Savino. Because it's like, when you look at The Loud House, you know, it's a very innocent, if cliche, cartoon about, you know, one boy living with ten sisters. Which, I have a feeling there's jokes that are going to be had about that. But I'm not going to start making them for the sake of controversy. But, um, just... Yeah, very, very shocked. If he truly is guilty, he deserves to be um, blacklisted. And, you know, if any of these women are, you know, going to go after him legally, and especially if he pleads guilty, then, yeah, he deserves it. So that's all I have to say on this. I wish I had more to say. I think as of right now, I'm just in complete shock. So, um, yeah, so, Chris Savino, if you really did this... um. This, you had this day coming. That's all I can say. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> all right, guys. So, um, please like or dislike this video. Um, and please subscribe to Plug Moon Bobby. And thanks for watching or listening.